You're watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, live from WSIL-TV in high definition. News 3 starts right now. And all this stuff you read about a balanced budget, there's nothing balanced about that budget at all. And leaders of several cities complain the new Illinois budget leaves their spending even more unbalanced tonight. That story in a moment, but first more in our breaking news out of Williamson County. Good evening. A crash involving several tractor trailers has shut down part of Interstate 57 northbound at this hour, right at the Williamson Johnson County line. Yeah, Illinois State Police tell us four semis were involved in that crash. News 3's Brandon Morano has spent the last hour or so out there at the scene. Brandon, what is the very latest from there? Well, Carol, and I just want to give you an exact location of where we're at here. I'm at mile marker 44, right on the Johnson Williamson County line on Interstate 57. Now, about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes ago, Illinois State Police say four tractor trailers crashed here on mile marker 44. Now, we do know that two of them were carrying bananas. Uh, or sorry, one was carrying bananas. You can see the uh, the gentleman in the uh, in the bobcat there trying to pick those up as quick as he can to get people back on the road. Now, what I do want to stress is that Illinois State Police have said that traffic is closing it. The northbound lane here on Interstate 57 is still closed down at mile marker 44. They're not letting anyone through, so they're asking people to if the, if you're making your way through the Goreville area to take an alternate route. But the good news here, nobody injured. Uh, Illinois State Police have the, the scene pretty much contained. And we're going to try to get a little bit more info uh, for you. But just to recap, I uh, just want to let you guys know that hot, the highway Interstate 57 here is closed at mile marker 40. We're here at mile marker 44. Now, that's where the crash happened. Crews are working to clean it up as quickly as possible. But it looks like it's going to be at least a couple more hours, I'd say conservatively, uh, before they get uh, all this cleaned up here. For now, live in Johnson County, Brandon Morano, News 3. All right, thank you, Brandon. Brandon showing us the traffic there. Take a look at this video just sent to us from a viewer of traffic moving slowly through Goreville. Folks being detoured off of the interstate created this slow moving scene you see here. Again, folks are being asked to avoid the Goreville area right now because of backups just like this.